I was very lucky to get the opportunity to speak to the CEO of a major investment firm. And he was telling me how, of course, they made a lot of money uh, during the 2023 rally. And as we're coming to the end of year, this was actually starting to turn into more of a sell signal for his firm and getting ready for the worst almost in 2024. And this, you know, really sparked my interest in coming up and formulating a very much more bearish plan, let's just say that. And in today's video, I wanna share with you some upcoming trades that I'm really looking forward to in 2024. Of course, the technical analysis and the charts, what we have in terms of setups there, and you know, just approaching this end of year or the start of 2024 with more of a neutral bias. So I think you're gonna absolutely love this video. I do think you're gonna learn a lot from it. I'm gonna share some really nice insights with you as always. And uh, you know, I'm gonna get us prepared for some profits. So uh, I think it's gonna be a brilliant one. Let's get straight into it. And I just want to start off by saying this, that, uh, you know, for me, it honestly doesn't matter. It could be uh, the CEO of a major investment firm, you know, trading around with billions of dollars. But I am always just focused on myself, on my technical analysis, on my charts, on my trade setups. Uh, you know, that's all I care about. For, for me, everybody else's opinions are not valid when it comes to me taking my trades. And I'm going to share with you my trades and what I am looking for next. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy my opinions and outlook. So, um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Of course, in my last video, uh, you know, named Bitcoin finally hits my major $44,000 target. Is it finally time to take that short trade? And, uh, you know, I think it's fair to say, right, for the past few months, I've been one of the biggest bulls you've seen in this space. Just every single dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, long and chill, no short trades yet, expect higher. And, you know, from the charts, we can see that bias has paid very well, very well indeed. And, uh, you know, as we hit that 44K, you know, I'm starting to recognize, is it now finally time to short? When we first hit 44K, I did not take the short. Why? Because for me, the reaction wasn't bearish enough. We've hit the target and we just really simply got a pullback, which really didn't give me any sort of major bearish flags. Didn't want to lock in that short. But as time went on, you know, we spent nearly a week up here in this range. And as time went on, I started to see a little bit more bearish signs and I just wanted to be a little bit, you know, more cautious. And that is why I made the decision on the 22nd of December. And of course, I will always tell the champion members this first, very transparent. I told them I have finally taken my first short trade here on Bitcoin in a very long time. This was uh, in terms of a major swing hedge trade. And, you know, for the first time in a long time, I've took a short trade on Bitcoin transparently and honestly telling the members I took that back on the 22nd on December. Uh, that was just after I'd finished a special Champions live stream. Uh, this was on Friday the 22nd. Done a Champions live stream for them on the Friday and then confirmed it in writing afterwards. Of course, just saying what I said in the stream that I have took that short trade. And uh, for the next few days, actually, we, we were remaining sideways, uh, just, you know, really simply going sideways. There was a lot of opportunity to uh, also take a short, right? And then finally, we got this lovely drop to the downside yesterday on the 26th. And, uh, you know, this, after taking the short, so I'm trading on uh, Bing X and Bybit right now, uh, you know, I managed to actually, uh, you know, be pretty happy with this because why with these drops, I'm telling you, is it still a absolutely must to take profits? Why? Because I still do overall remain bullish. I still believe that we can hit new yearly highs. I do believe this is still a bullish uptrend. So this is something very important. I really want you to understand. This is some, this is very important. When we are taking shorts at such locations around $44,000. Okay, this is for a perspective of protecting ourselves. Why? What's happening here? We're starting to come up into a, you know, Christmas day. What is this? It is a public holiday for the world. Okay, uh, the markets are closed. Okay, of course, cryptocurrency never closes. <laughs> so that's you could say it's an advantage or disadvantage, but the cryptocurrency market never closes. So while traditional markets, they're all closed on Christmas day, right? Um, you know, crypto is still open and that leaves you for these low volume, bigger moves. You know, you could say, I would never say this is manipulation, but really simply you've got some smart people that can take advantage of low volume and the market is simply easier to move. It loses, it, it's going to take less money to move the market. It's as simple as that. And so, you know, smart people can take advantage of that. And myself being aware of such moves, 
Uh, it just really led me to believe, okay, I'm, I'm going to take this short now. We're coming up into Christmas. I'm seeing some more bearish signs. We've got the confluence. We've got the reasons. We've got the range. We've got an easy stop loss. Let's lock in that short. And, you know, on Boxing Day, it was yesterday. If you don't know, in England, we have Boxing Day, right? And it is a public holiday uh, where the markets are once again closed on the 26th. On the 26th, we got the drop. OK, and, you know, that really is a time to lock in the take profit. Why? Because that's, all, you know, over a thousand dollar drop to the downside, a very nice percentage move. And remembering the context of the overall bull market, it is still important to absolutely lock in that take profit one in the end, bouncing off of the CC Fibonacci. So really simply from the low of the first drop up to the high, that is into the CC Fibonacci. And you can already see the, you know, the reaction that we've got from there. So. You know, what I want to now explain is where we have the next like biggest support and resistance levels, which can offer like new trades going forwards into 2024. Right. And a few things I want to mention, of course, this this short has hit take profit one. And I've took enough now that even if the stop loss is hit, that is still guaranteed profits. Why is that important for you to realize? Because I want to just explain to you the importance of, first of all, taking those hedged short trades when you've got the confluence and you've got the, you know, the reasonings to take it not getting greedy and just expecting for a massive reversal but locking that take profit one and then you're in such a lovely position where you can relax fully i know now if there's a pump to fifty thousand tomorrow hey i get stopped out that short and it made me money why because i locked in that take profit one you take profits when you're given the opportunity especially with short trades in the very big bull market that we're in um yeah could we drop down lower? We could, but we don't want to get greedy. We don't want to try and outthink the market in that regards. The trend is still our friend currently. Okay. And on top of that, you know, we've been trading very nicely with altcoins recently. So if you're in the group, you know, I've been calling some very uh, long term accumulation patterns and outlooks on altcoins. And we finally had, um, you know, another reason why I wanted to take the head short on Bitcoin is because I've been very uh, aggressive on some of the alts recently. One in particular, DOT. Uh, so myself and other champions managing to get in some very nice trades on DOT from the start or the middle of November, recognizing we'd finally hit the falling wedge trend line low. We got a nice reaction and then we started to break outside of it. Okay, around the middle of December. And that gave us another uh, long trade right opportunity, right? So we're getting the break out of the falling wedge. This was the first sign of strength we wanted to see. This gave us our first, you know, real opportunity for the buying on the first breakout. And then after that, you know, we got another 30% pump to the upside. I uh, feel so, this guy feels so good to catch this move as part of Chart Champions. So glad I managed to scrape enough to catch the Black Friday deal. So from our Black Friday deal, we got the membership and uh, yeah, from these calls, you know, you can see it. <laughs> it works out very nicely for the, for the members that follow along, right? So, you know, uh, but because we were, you know, aggressive on these altcoins, that was another reason in the back of my mind to, to hedge you short here on Bitcoin, by the way. Um, but yeah, I really want to start to move on now to look at the outlook of, of what's next. Last thing I wanted to mention, by the way, is just really simply... I have started to make, uh, whether you like it or not, I've started to make some interesting, I feel, TikToks. Uh, so, you know, you can see here this one, uh, one of the biggest lessons or realizations I learned this year, three facts about me, uh, things I love in real life, things I don't like about Japan, you know, uh, just some like lifestyle trading uh, tips, tricks and stuff about myself. So that's of interest to you. Uh, you can give us a follow, just chart champions over on TikTok. I'm mostly starting to upload a little bit more on Instagram. So uh, it's the same chart champions, but you can give us a follow on those socials if you're interested in more of this like uh, IRL real life type of, uh, you know, videos. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So all I wanted to say, so now back to the charts and I'll wrap up here with some, uh, with some outlooks into 2024. So as mentioned, I really want to try and approach this more neutrally. I've been very, very bullish. Uh, and still to say I am still bullish, by the way, I still have my underlying bullish bias. I still expect us to hit new yearly highs. So I have full expectations to get stopped out the rest of that short. I still have my stop loss set above the highs in case I'm wrong on my bullish bias. That way I'm protected. If we do fall down heavily from here, well, hey, I can still keep the rest of that short trade running, right? So it's a nice position to be in. Okay. But the next resistance I'm looking at locally is really simply this previous range POC, which lines up with the bigger range point of control. OK, so this is the range now that we've been trading in for 23 days. 
Again, you see that point of control really massive now around 43,700. So it really is here from around $44,000 is still key resistance above us, right? So I'm looking locally at 44K resistance. Of course, if we reclaim that, that means get above it, flip it into support, or oh, you know, that would be a very, very, very high probability. We're going on to new yearly highs. OK, so this is where the level where we could look for a swing failure pattern, OK, or a failed auction. This is where we would take the highs, potentially hit into our next resistance and come back into the range. I guess, of course, more bearish. Uh, that'd be what you'd be looking at as a failed auction setup. OK, if we, though, break out here, flip our previous range into support, that's where we would then really expect the major targets up to 47 to fifty thousand dollars to be hit right this is our major major big high term time frame previous range point of control on buy bit for me has been a major target for a long time and that is a big level of resistance for me okay and the, my trading plan the way i've formulated it over the past few months for me just an absolute key zone so of course i would love it to be tested i would be more more than happy to see us rise to forty seven thousand. okay uh, I've got a bit of a hedge already took take profit one. I really expect to be stopped out and for higher prices to be hit. I'm protected if I'm wrong on that. And that's the joy of uh, taking a hedge and locking in a take profit one. If I am, uh, hey, I'm protected now at the end of the day, whatever happens next. But really, to make it clear and very transparent, I locked in that short on the 22nd. I told all the champion members and anyone that, you know, come along with that. We managed to lock in the take profits after locking in that take profit. Hey, I'm protected, whatever happens next. But my personal bias is that we will still continue up to new yearly highs. I am expecting new highs. Uh, I am still bullish. And for me, the key levels are also close and I would just love them to be tested. So really, you know, I would say that if we do get a bit more of a drop now, I would still be interested absolutely in like buying the dip. OK, and seen a new yearly high to be honest with you that's what i would like from there i'll make my next informed decision i'll monitor the order flow you know and i'll start to read the charts in a very non-biased way <laughs> you know what you know me all for i trade the charts right i'm not a perma bull i'm not a perma bear i'm just here to make profits trading it's as simple as that if you want to follow along with my biases if you want to follow along with my trades you can do that in the best place of all chartchampions.com that's where you can follow the trades you can watch live trading streams even today on the 27th you had a live trading stream with igor uh so yeah we're obviously here we're here we're working and uh you know you got daily live streams you had another daily live stream this morning uh you got the whole educational course from beginner to master and you know you know some of the main things every single day a day live stream you got the contender sessions to educate yourself the live trading the altcoin streams everything that you need uh in a one-stop platform of chart champions i'll be more than happy to have you along and uh, i think you'll absolutely love it so that's all i say uh thank you ever so much hope you've enjoyed i hope you have took some information and you can really use this in your you know your trading and uh yeah, of course, no financial advice there. Just a non-financial advice guy, uh, just giving you my opinions and commentary on the market. And, you know, <laughs> use that as you will. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And that's me signing out. If you want more, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. And, uh, yeah, shout out to the OGPJs. Cheers and goodbye. <laughs>